What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, I love piano music. So Shaquille O'Neal is a part of that 1992-1993 NBA draft that produced some of the legends we talk about today. He was the first pick. Alonzo Mourning was the second pick. Uh, your boy Christian Leitner was number three. I think Spreewell was like, like number 15. Robert Ory came in that draft too. And Sam Cassell. I know because I had all their rookie cards. And in 1992-93, we got the Chronic album in 92. And then we got the introduction to somebody else very important. Snoop Doggy Dog. So 92 was a good year. But Shaq is bigger than basketball. I mean, my God, he's a great entrepreneur. He's a great commentator, podcaster, and he's actually a comedian of sorts, right? And uh, he's funny. He's a very funny guy. And he did something that's very interesting. Shaq also tries to holler at females and usually gets shot down like he did when he tried to get at Britney Spears. But he tried to holler at Glorilla the other night Who? Um, oh on Drewski's God. Instagram oh, Live. Uh, so what I'd like to do, actually, let's go ahead and play that clip. And I want Dima to kind of point the arrow and slow it down when Shaquille O'Neal says, will you marry me? And then we'll come back. Hear me, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, you got some space <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got some for you. I got some for you. Make sure I look right. All right, bet. All right, guys. So you you seen that, right? Now I know what some of the guys are gonna say. Two things. Like, listen, Shaquille O'Neal tried to holler at Glorilla, and she didn't even respond. She didn't even acknowledge him. That's one thing that you can say for sure. But secondarily, is you know somebody like me, um. A little bit older guy. We all know that behind closed doors, Shaquille O'Neal will never be seen with somebody that acts and talks like Glorilla. And let me just say this. Glorilla, I feel like if you were hitting the blunt with her or something like that, I don't have any problem with her. Shout out to the sister. I know she was poor and she's doing her thing. She seems like a very nice young lady. But the F Jigga Freeze things... You know, the nut quick song. I mean, if, if you're a black man seeing what she's saying, then all of a sudden you hate black women and things like this. And the kind of music that she makes is the equivalent of what black men say about black women. All right. But like I said, like it's she, the beats are, are slamming. She's she says crazy things like she don't. She, you know, I think the last time like uh, she wears black undies because she doesn't want people to see the doo doo stains and stuff like that. The problem is this, in the black community, we can't come out and tell somebody like, hey, like Glorilla, young woman, the way that you talk is so repulsive. No man worth his weight in gold can take somebody like you serious because you're just not acting like a woman. We can't say that. Uh, and a, a lot of the things that a lot of the brothers that I know, I won't call any names, but some of the brothers that I know, they just don't say anything at all and then they just kind of go over there to white women or hispanic women and and now you see the passport bro guys they just kind of mosey on over there they don't say anything but we all know what the problem is and the problem is this you can't come out and criticize what somebody like glorilla does it's gospel right it's gospel glorilla says anything the, 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 the ladies run, run with it. The issue is, is that the guys who are out here pretending to like them, don't touch them. Let me, let me give you an example of what we're talking about. Our good brother, Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson holds these summits. And maybe Dima still has the photo of the last summit that Derek Jackson um, had. With all of these ladies, they appear to be between 30, 40, 50. Middle-aged women, right? Oh, God's going to send you a man. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. You know, these men deserve, if you're a single mom, you deserve this. And then look at the ladies that Derek Jackson dates. Derek Jackson doesn't date. And the girl that he got caught cheating with, if we could post her picture, she's she looks nothing like the women in 
that particular theater or that room. They just don't look the same. So the reality is, you know, when we come back and we back these ladies up in their behavior, we're making them feel justified in how they act. Oh, girl, you know, hold on. Uh, Reggie music. Oh, girl, you know, Shaq was all in my live stream and everything. Girl talking about he want to marry me. Girl, I didn't mean paying him no attention, girl. <laughs> so then you, may, you, you raise up their confidence into believing that they can access somebody like you. And why should they change that behavior? But on the flip side, Shaq, you know that you're not going to deal with nobody talking like that. You're not going to deal with nobody acting like that. You're not going to deal with nobody mentioning like that. Nothing. You won't. And a lot of times, you know, then these ladies get older. What do you hear Cher saying? What do you hear Lala Anthony saying? You know, the older guys that have money won't date me. Because when you're young, you can get away with it. When you're hot and young, like Glorilla 22, 23, yeah, a guy will take some, you know, bad behavior off you when you're young because you can look at it, you can replace it with your youth and sexuality. But what happens when somebody like Glorilla gets 35, 40? Brittany Renner already talked about it. Her phone don't ring as much. That's why when Brittany Renner go live, you're not seeing Shaq and her stuff. It's like, okay, everybody been there and they didn't done that. Why are we dealing with her? And this is what we, this is what we're dealing with right now. And, and a lot of stuff, and, and it's sad, brothers and sisters, it is really so sad to see what's going on that it's being led down the wrong path. Us telling certain ladies, oh, when, when you tell them that the truth is bad, we know it's bad, look at Kevin Samuels. Then when you come in and lie to them, it's still bad. Because we all know what the outcome is going to be. The outcome is going to be, you're not going to have a man that is competent. You're not going to have any protection. You're not going to enjoy these things that other women who know how to be more feminine or other women who know how to behave themselves, you're not going to be able to access that although you want it. But you believe that all you got to do is show up. And we have too many ladies that are following Glorilla, following Nicki Minaj, following Cardi B that believe this is how they got to act to get somebody. When, when Nicki Minaj can't even marry nobody, they can read and write, barely. When Cardi B is, 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 is I mean, she is with Offset, but I mean, that's like, look, you know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj is the greatest example of what you're going to become if you have a, 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 a aura. That isn't decent. Cher, Amber Rose, Lala Anthony. That's the outcome of what happened. But we're not telling nobody that. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again another episode of the server junk appreciate your father you do subscribe to the bell i'm out <laughs>